I am looking for a sugar daddy with a boat. I repeat, a sugar daddy with a boat. I'm looking for an allowance of $200 a week to start. If you have any other greater offers, I would really appreciate it. I repeat, I am looking for a sugar daddy with a boat. A sugar daddy with a boat. I repeat. I am looking for a sugar daddy with a boat. I would like an allowance of $200 a week. I repeat, a sugar daddy with a boat. Do you hear me? A sugar daddy with a boat. If you have a younger son, that's cool too. Let's see, um, for p people in, uh, the rulers in, uh, in dictatorships uh, to, uh, uh, build a nest leg abroad. So recently there was a, just now a conference, a Valdai conference, where the, instead of discussing conditions in, 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 uh, in Russia, they mainly discussed Bitcoin, because that's what the rulers were interested in. So this will have a, a big effect on the valuation of Bitcoin. Normally, uh, when you have a parabolic curve, eventually it has a very sharp break. But in this case, I think as long as that you have got dictatorships uh, on the rise, uh, you will have a different ending because uh, the rulers in those countries are going to turn to Bitcoin to build a nest, a nest egg. Right. Okay, George Soros. George Soros, in he January 24th, <laughs> price was already down, calls Bitcoin a bubble, says Bitcoin is the worst, you know, the worst investment in the world, don't buy Bitcoin, don't buy Bitcoin, basically throws uh, gasoline on the fire yeah. at this point. And then what do we find out? So he says bubble here. It drops 44%. Right. And then here in April, two months later, guess what we find out? Yeah. His $26 billion family office has approval to buy cryptocurrency. Right. And you only, we only knew about it publicly right. here. Here. And yes. this is the kind of thing that George, George Soros is famous for this, talking yeah. the sterling down. Yeah. And what did he do? He stole the pensions of all the little people. Yeah, made a billion. Yeah. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe and spread this all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the book, Crypto Teacher and W.O. Book. Also, those who donated to the Cash App, Patreon, much love. Also, those who are shopping at the store, much love. You're blowing the store up. And it's like I said, that's much love, guys. Now, of course, guys, we want to get into Bitcoin and cryptos first of course guys we get another leg up now we know that what we have cme and bitmax here guys a very very important time right now we have now until the fourth that's going to tell us everything that's going to be happening going forward in the future so guys make sure you're paying attention to it i'm going to be posting in patreon and uh the youtube community link so if I see anything crazy go on, I'll be posting there. But it's definitely an important window of time, guys, these four days. Remember, the CME gap has not been filled. And it's at 9,600. Our volume is not where it needs to be at. Now, what's making us rise? Of course, Ethereum. Of course, Ethereum 2.0 is rising up. Uh, based on one over the video, uh, why is XRP lagging? Please go watch that video. I'm going to put in the links also in the, in the comments. I went over the XRP price. I touched on Ethereum. Guys, and I've done this on several videos. When uh, basically Bitcoin is above 10,000, I went over the levels as far as XRP. This week, I told you if, X, if Bitcoin stays over 10,000, XRP will be in the range of 26 to 29 cents. As we can see, it's there. Guys, it's all based on market cap. If you do the math, you take the total market cap, and divided with Bitcoin market cap is at 62%. They must stay at those levels. So just remember that the Bitcoin dominance always has been. 
So do not forget about that. Those are your indicators. Of course, stable coins have been what? Below uh, a dollar. And we've been pumping a little bit. But it's like I said, the volume still scares me. So that's why I said make sure you're staying focused on the stable coins, guys. And it's like I said, I'll post when I get the alerts. I'll make sure I put in the Patreon and in the YouTube community um, posting. So therefore, I can keep you up to date. But these four days are very, very important because remember, on the 5th, they need Bitcoin as collateral. So that's going to tell us which way we're going to run. Now, guys, getting over into uh, crypto news. Now, basically, we have Bloomberg saying Americans are uh, trading their dollars for depreciation dollar over to Bitcoin. Guys, we know that the masses are not even into Bitcoin, so we know that is not true. The fact is that, guys, the dollar is being manipulated, of course, with the Fed. The same way we see all this money coming from the Fed over into crypto. So we know they are building a new economy. We know that, but the masses don't. Now, guys, I touched on this yesterday. Uh, basically, Ripple paid $15.1 million to MoneyGram. I think it was like an $8 million profit. Also, guys, uh, news as far as with uh, FX coin exchange, the Japanese exchange. Basically, they're going to be using uh, XRP for the global cash management. I've said that XRP is a actual global stable coin. It's going to be a synthetic stable coin. It's going to replace the dollar. I've said that time and time again. And we're slowly seeing that XRP is a stable coin, guys. I just want to make sure that you understand that. It's going to be the global synthetic stable coin. Now, guys, we have Chainlink partners with State Colorado to create a new uh, lottery game. If you ask me, the lottery has been rigged from the beginning. If you understand the history of the lottery, it's very interesting. I'll probably do a video on that. Uh, but basically, uh, guys, as all lottery is, is numbers, of course. That's all the system is, is algorithms, guys, mathematics. That's the reason why they really can rig this system. The, the current system is already rigged, but you can sort of get around things. And this new crypto system is really going to be rigged. And we're going to start seeing that. Now, uh, basically, we have the Australian government back uh, gold token, universal gold, of course, by Perth Mint. When it comes to silver and gold, guys, I only want physical. I don't care how digital, whatever token they have, I only want physical. But that's me personally. Now, guys, we have uh, Putin signs a bill that you can no longer use uh, crypto as payment starting next year. Now, guys, why would he do that? You have to understand the end game. Why would he do that? Because he wants to keep control of his currency. Guys, make sure. Just like I said, this cryptocurrency can be manipulated so bad. And we know China is going to be doing that cryptocurrency. And we know Russia and China are hand in hand. So the fact is that if they want to keep a lock on their payments and their cash, of course you're going to ban it because you don't want the outside economy getting in. Because remember, this is going to be global payment system. So don't forget about that, guys. Now, also, guys, getting into the video with George Soros. Now, guys, of course, George Soros said, uh, guys, the Bitcoin is for the rate. He actually told the truth in this. They're going to run to it. Now, guys, we know George Soros, of course, part of the open, well, created the open society. And a lot of people don't know that even though you see him now getting old and, you know, losing the mind, his son has taken over. And a lot of people don't even know that and don't even know his name. But the fact is, guys, that when you look at paradigm shifts in all countries, George Soros has had his, had his hand in. I've been over this in several videos. He gets the greatest minds together to sit at a table and change the whole paradigm shifts of countries, of mindsets, guys. So when you're talking about mental warfare, he is the king. When I'm talking about evil genius. So guys, do not forget about that. Now, we also have Trump, as far as with TikTok, another part of evil genius. 
God, they say they're going to ban TikTok, but then they come behind it and say Microsoft may buy it. Now, we know that all these corporations are working hand in hand and collecting all of our data. We know that our information is already being sold to China by the current corporations. Remember, guys, they all are moving over into China if they're not already there. So, guys, do not fall for the Hegelian dialectic. How can the United States make a Chinese company, I don't care if it's a subsidiary or not, sell? That, like, that doesn't even make sense, guys. Yeah, you can ban it, but you can't make them sell it. That makes no sense whatsoever. Do not fall for the Hegelian dialectic. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and W.O. Book. If you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, also your stocks, your chip stocks, your cobalt, your banking, your gaming stocks. Also, everybody sitting at home, don't forget about those stocks. Of course, the C word, they're selling us. They're really selling it right now. Now, guys, those are biotech stocks. Don't forget about those. And of course, since everybody's sitting at home, getting free money for right now, what are they doing? Sitting at home, drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and y'all have a wonderful day.